Welcome back to Circus Made Simple, the show dedicated to circus tips, tricks, and tutorials. I'm Matthias, and in this episode, we're going to learn two more beginner-level juggling tricks called Juggler's Tennis and Reverse Cascade. So we're going to start with Juggler's Tennis, and there's a couple of prerequisites that you kind of need to have down to be able to do this trick. Juggler's Tennis is basically just one ball going back and forth over the top of your pattern kind of resembling a tennis ball going back and forth over the net. The main thing you need to know how to do is an over-the-top throw. If you haven't learned this yet, uh, I do have a tutorial and I'll link that in the description down below and you can go check it out. Let's start by warming up those over-the-top throws. Let's just do a couple on each side, making sure they're feeling good, consistent, and our heights are uh, the same on both sides. And next, as usual, we're gonna pick one of these balls to be our designated over-the-top throw. I'm gonna use the white one uh, to make it a little bit of a contrasted color to make it easier for you to follow. Once those are warmed up and feeling good, you're ready for juggler's tennis. And like I was saying before, juggler's tennis is just one ball going back and forth over the top of your pattern. Let's start by trying two throws in a row. So waiting for the white one to get around, over the top, and right back over the top again. Now let's try three. White one's coming around, over the top, over the top, and over the top. If those are feeling good, that's great. Go for more throws. But if your pattern starts to fall apart, take a step back, go back to doing like two in a row, build up that muscle memory, and slowly add additional throws. And remember, juggling is more about making good throws than it is about making good catches. If you can make good throws, catching will be the easy part. So now that we've learned juggler's tennis, we have all the tools we need to learn the reverse cascade. Reverse Cascade is basically every throw from every hand is gonna go over the top, just like the Juggler's Tennis, resulting in a complete reverse pattern of our three ball cascade, hence the Reverse Cascade. So once again, we're gonna start with just two throws in a row, trying to make sure that they're consistent and the same height. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Then move to three throws. One, two, three, and back into your three ball cascade. Once you can do three throws in a row, the pattern just repeats itself, and you're juggling the reverse cascade. One common problem I do see with this trick is not throwing that over the top throw far enough over, resulting in having to reach your arms across your pattern to catch it. One way to help fix this is to imagine that there's a basketball hoop right here above your forehead. Every throw that you make is trying to go inside that hoop. Or sometimes I see the opposite problem of the balls going too far across until your pattern just keeps getting wider and wider and wider. And it's essentially the same fix. Try and think about that basketball hoop right in the middle of your forehead and aim those over the top throws so that they go right through the hoop. Another problem that I see with reverse cascade and with juggling tricks in general is timing and hand speed. Basically throwing the balls too fast. If you throw the balls too fast, you're gonna have a gap in your pattern. To fix this, try and think about letting your throws get all the way to the top and just starting to come back down before you throw the next one. That should help you with your timing. And that's it. I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, hit that like button for me, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. Take care, and we'll catch you in the next one.